I don't know how to start a video, but I'm a hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Modded 1.3 Episode 6, I believe. Uh, rainy d tomorrow as well. Did I plant a lot of crops? I planted some crops. Uh, don't really remember where I was at with this save, because I played so much multiplayer since the last time I recorded this. Um, what seeds were these? Nope. Bunch of cauliflower? That's fine. Let's see, gotta take some stuff to the museum. Gotta fish, probably. I don't have any crab pots down on this save yet. Unfortunate, but I did do some minor research in that I am doing essentially the same thing on multiplayer. And when you get the profession, it doesn't decrease the shop cost for crab pots. I don't know what, why I thought it did, maybe. Maybe it used to do it, or maybe I just got it confused or something. But, uh... <coughs> excuse me. I've been really sick lately. Uh, it's allergy season. It's killing me. It doesn't cost less to buy crab pots in the store, but once you get the wood and copper recipe, then it costs, like, slightly less to, uh... buy the copper and the coal and the wood and craft it yourself by creating the materials. So that's what I'll probably do on this save instead of, you know, instead of buying them from the store. Because it's just a waste of money. It costs a lot. Well, it's not, it's not a waste of money because eventually you will get your money back. It just takes a while. And the more, the more crab pots you have, the more, uh, the less time it takes to make that money back and Consistently buy more crab pots until you place as many as possible. <clears throat> All that good stuff. Uh, daffodils. That's fine. I don't have any tools with me, so I can't go in there and clear that up. I will just uh, return to the farm, grab the stuff for the museum, and I'll get that donated today, if nothing else. And then probably just do some fishing. Uh, I believe since the last time I did videos on this, I removed the regular fishing overhaul mod because after some experimenting in multiplayer, uh, it does seem like the main fishing overhaul mod didn't have support before. It may be upgraded, it updated soon to allow support for extreme fishing overhaul. I think I saw the creator of the regular fishing overhaul mod talking about that in the stardew discord in the modding channel so i'll take a look at that soon but for now it has been removed and i don't think i can actually add it back in without it crashing because it replaces the normal fishing rod so i'll have to be careful about adding it back in if i do if not that's fine you know it does cool stuff but i prefer the extreme fishing overhaul mod for all that variety plus the names are pretty funny sometimes go away shane i want to I want to loot this garbage can. Aha. He'll never catch me. We'll hit this one real quick. And we'll go to the museum, donate a few things. Go to the beach, grab the forageables, I guess. And then pretty much just fish for the rest of the day. Uh, I can't I can't search that trash can because the penny's right there. Donate to the museum. Let's put this here. This here. And this here. Why not? What reward did I get? Cauliflower seeds? Cauliflower seeds. And it's still early enough that I can plant them. So I will do that. I'll hold on to this broken CD. It doesn't have a lot of benefit for now. Uh, eventually I can make a recycling machine. And I'm going to be making one anyways because I'm going to be doing a bunch of crab pots. And automating that process. So uh, I'll hold on to it for now. It doesn't look like there's any forageables down here. Alright, I do have to return to the farm and dump off some of this stuff, like the parsnips, sell the daffodil, plant the cauliflower seeds, store the broken CD, and then I'll fish because I don't want to have too full of an inventory when I fish. I think I talked about this before, but the downside about the extreme fishing overhaul mod, which has kind of been fixed a tiny bit by the latest update, is... That the fish are just so less, so much less valuable. So you get a lot less for fishing when you do it that way. And it's possible that if the fishing overhaul mods start working together, then we might see like an increase in profits. 
because we will, of course, be able to catch Iridium star quality fish with extreme fishing overhaul <clears throat> through the regular fishing overhaul. And that'll increase the profits a little bit, but not by a lot. Uh, I don't think it increases that much at all. Except maybe on the legendary fish from the extreme overhaul, because it does add in custom legendary fish as well. Which is a nice little... <clears throat> nice little addition. God, please. These allergies. It doesn't help that I can't have my fan on when I'm recording these because it's so loud. Alright. I probably should have dropped off my watering can. It's fine. Seven, seven slots? Eight slots is enough for fishing. We'll just fish in the river. I doubt it matters. Actually, I guess... I can get gold starfish if I fish in the ocean. Maybe? I might be able to get them here as well, because I think it's to the nearest walkable tile. And those tiles aren't walkable, technically. But I will fish here. So that I can get gold starfish. That seagull is, like, sitting inside the pole there. Weird. I haven't seen that before, but I don't pay attention to seagulls much. I also don't typically fish at the beach much. Normally I have the Riverlands farm, and then I just fish there. So, as a result, not many seagulls. Although it would be cool if the seagulls spawned on the Riverlands farm. Probably possible to have them do it, maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what's, like, possible to change and not possible to change in Stardew through modding. Because that's... As far as I'm concerned, that's the last thing that Stardew needs before updates stop, because I think the creator is planning on stopping eventually. Like, I, <clears throat> I think actually 1.2 maybe was supposed to be the last update, and then he decided to go ahead with one more update to add multiplayer, and then just sort of threw some features in on top of that. But the last thing that it needs before updates stop completely, in my opinion, is a really robust modding API, like an official one, so that it is really easy to add in, like, custom everything, and just basically make it so that players can really dig in and change anything they want, and then Stardew will be perfect. Because it'll just have infinite modability, and we will get tons of awesome content from people who want to continue working on it, while the creator is free to go and work on whatever else he wants. Basically the Minecraft approach, except... In Minecraft, they continue to update the game and break it, and break all the mods, and add things that aren't necessary, like dual wielding, and the combat update, and new mobs that nobody cares about. I miss the old Minecraft, the 1.7.10, back when I could still use Rotary Craft, which is still my favorite mod in the tech in the, like part of mods, at least. I'd say probably my favorite mod overall now is Psy by Vasky. It's a very fun mod. I wish there was more to do in it, but it's still pretty versatile even as it is. I just wish that Reika, or Rika, whatever, would update his mods. Even to like 1.10 1, 1 would be fine. He doesn't have to go all the way to 1.12, although apparently there's not a lot of difference, I guess. Because uh, then I could use both Rotary Craft and Psy together, but unfortunately, no. Because, I don't know. Rake is just lazy. He still updates his mods for 1.7.10, but it's like, why bother at that point? There's so many other good mods already updated. Jaguar Moonfish. Nice. Difficulty 60 did, and fish type dart did not feel like it. Maybe I'm just getting better at fishing with all these really hard random fish. I'm still eagerly awaiting the update of JSON assets for Stardew. I'm even kind of tempted to try going back to 1.2 and seeing if makeshift multiplayer is any good so I can still play with my friends. And then, like, still have all of the mods. But I don't know how mods play with the makeshift multiplayer. I'd have to look into it. And, you know, also, it's just, like, a pain. 
having to go back to an old version. I don't even know if I can, actually. I guess, actually, right now I can, because I can opt out of the beta. And that'll put me back on the latest public version, which means that it'll be the latest version 1.2. So maybe I'll look into that. I don't know. I think right now it's still kind of more interesting to play on 1.3. Plus there's some mods that are like only available for 1.3 that I'd miss out on if I switched back to an older version. And, you know, mostly updates for 1.2 aren't coming anymore, so it would just be a temporary thing until mods were updated to 1.3 anyways. But again, this is all highly dependent on whether or not the uh, makeshift multiplayer mod is any good. When I first tried it, a ages ago, like right after it came out pretty much, uh, it was alright, I guess. But it definitely had its problems, and... Like, built-in 1.3 multiplayer has its problems as well, don't get me wrong, it's definitely not perfect, there's a lot of bugs. But I'd have to take a look at the bugs that are still present in makeshift multiplayer and, like, compare them to the the merits. Like, makeshift multiplayer's bugs, plus how good the 1.2 mods are, versus, like, the 1.3 bugs, plus the 1.3 content. Uh, let's get rid of nothing, because it's only four copper. But I will eat a fish. I'll eat this anchovy. And it could be worth it. I'll look into it after this episode, probably. I don't know. I don't know how many of these I'm going to record in a row. I need to record a few, at least, so that I have time to record more and build up more backlog. Here's the fog again. I I've mentioned this before. I have never gotten fog once in multiplayer and we're on like uh, I think we got to like day 13 of summer because we just just recently were able to harvest our first crop of melons and it has never been foggy even one time in the entirety of that month and a half and on and on this save, it's been six days, and it has been foggy, I think, every single day. At least once, and sometimes twice. So it's a little bit ridiculous. Maybe it's just broken in multiplayer. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. This feels like a difficulty, like, 50 or 60 fish. A hey, 60, type floater. Uh, worth 40, so, like, I guess I'll get rid of the seaweed. The strange, cute moonfish. I don't even know. Irresponsible stone ray. Price 20, minus 4 energy. Alright. Um, I, I guess... I don't want to throw anything away. I'll just try to keep catching the same quality of things. And replacing the fish that I have. Like, if I catch a gold star anchovy, I can easily replace that with, uh... Or replace the... The silver star one with it. But anything else, like any more random fish, and it's gonna be a little bit difficult... To decide. Don't be difficult, fish. Just let me catch you. And I'll sell you. I'll put you in the shipping bin. I actually had another idea for a mod recently. Ooh, an eel! Ah, uh, yeah, that's worth taking out a, an ancho before. Had another idea for a mod recently. And basically it would be an aquarium that you could put in your house. And then it would be like a chest that you could put fish in, but probably a limited number of fish. And, uh, interesting, they look the same, but they're different. I'll get rid of a sardine for it. I, it would be an aquarium that you could put down inside your house, and it would be a chest that you could put a few things in, but the things you could put in them would only be fish. And then it would just, like, move the sprites back and forth across the, uh, the image of the aquarium. I think that would be kind of cool. It doesn't have to be too detailed. Like, you just have the fish and move it back and forth, and that would probably be enough. Like, right there. And then you could have, like, a special wallpaper or something on on the uh, the Riverlands farm, or just in general even. 
where if you this is almost definitely worth more uh, you just have like a special wallpaper where if you have that then a chest in your house like a chest placed inside of your house with I don't know name it fish or something uh, that'll count for the aquarium and then it'll have like a huge blown up thing with fish moving back and forth across it I think that would be really cool uh, it wouldn't do much it would just be like you know nice to look at but it would be cool to be able to put you know the legendary fish in there and then watch them swim around back and forth instead of just selling them uh, I'll try to catch a few more fish but we're getting to that point where my inventory is full I really need to buy the the backpack upgrade at least the first tier one still got plenty of time left in the first month though it feels like I'm taking a lot longer than I am in this but it's just because it's one day per episode so it feels super long even though it's pretty much the same length. Halibut, nice. Uh, I'll get rid of the gold star sardine for it. Like two more fish and then I'll call it because my inventory is so full. But overall, relatively successful day, I guess. Caught a lot of fish. Should sell for probably six or seven hundred, I hope. Oh. Oh, that fish almost got me because I kept bouncing and it was just against the bottom. Let's get that treasure chest, even though we probably can't take whatever is inside. Unless it's like a diamond. It's not, it's a frozen geode. Which, there's time enough for that later. Alright, let's head back to the farm, sell everything, and call it a night. So very foggy. I do like the fog though. Oh, there it goes. It's a nice like addition. And from what I understand, there's additional weather types during the uh, the summer as well added by this mod. And maybe the fall and the winter? I don't know, but I'm assuming they probably aren't gonna work in multiplayer either, so I wouldn't like I wouldn't have seen them yet, and it'll be a while before I can see them, because if they only work in single player, this is my only single player world. My only single player farm, whatever you want to call it. Alright. How much money did we make? Level 1 farming? Not bad. Level 5 fishing? Yes. Gonna take Trapper. Because I want to do the crab pot thing. 700 gold. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. And I'll see you all next time.